BarbecueTricks.com here with a little step-by-step -step on beef ribs. You know what? Usually it's the pork rib, the mighty spare rib that gets all the attention, all the buzz. But deep in the heart of Texas, a lot of people say that the beef back ribs are kind of like a secret weapon for pit masters. They use hardwood smoke, actually just a little bit of spice, salt and pepper, and the beefy, like Fred Flintstone type ribs are served almost totally naked. They're really delicious and they really got it down. Well, I wanted to try a little different take on it where we sauce it up just a bit and give it more of the uh, Southern barbecue flavor. Now, typically with pork ribs, you'll cook them for around four hours to get them really succulent, fall off the bone, just right. But beef ribs, they're a little bit different in the way you serve them. They're actually served with a bit of a chew, a little bit of a fight, not fall off the bone, because if it's fall off the bone with beef, it's more like, almost like a pot roast and, and mushy. So we started with two slabs, about four pounds each, of nice looking beef ribs from the butcher. You can find them in pretty much any supermarket as beef back ribs. Just look for ones with a lot of meat. You don't want to waste your time with stuff with just scraps of meat on it. I've seen that a bunch. The rib membrane on the back, that carries actually a lot of fat and flavor. So unlike with the pork ribs, you're going to leave it on and again it'll add to the little bit of a fight and a little bit of a chew that you get with beef ribs instead of pork ribs. Now with seasoning, Texas, they don't use much. I'm going to use a mix of just a couple tablespoons of Tony Cashier's Cajun seasoning and a good dose of uh, sugar in the raw or turbinado sugar, which will caramelize real nice. Let it sit in the fridge for uh, at least a few hours, maybe even overnight. When it's time to cook, get the smoker ready. I'm using a Brinkman charcoal smoker here. I used uh, mesquite chips. Again, about 250 degrees. You cover it and you do not disturb these for about an hour. Leave the ribs on. Don't peak. It'll extend your cooking time significantly. And then about an hour later, you can uh, take your peak and then refuel as needed. Add some more wood chips. Again, mesquite works great with beef and uh, let them cook. About total cooking time, about two hours, two and a half hours. And uh, after about two hours and 15 minutes, they should be pulling back from the ends of the bones there. A telltale sign that it's almost time to eat. Our last step to make them like really over the top, you wrap these ribs in foil Add just a little base of your sweetest barbecue sauce, whatever your favorite is, and sprinkle some more of that turbinado sugar on top of the ribs. Put them directly on high heat, like right on the coals. I'll drop the smoker down to the very base and use that as a flash grill. Give them about five minutes each side, flip them once, and they will be a little bit blackened, a little bit glazed, and really delicious. I also included some smashed potatoes here, which are real easy. Just leave them in for the whole cooking time. Crush them and then put those on the grill as well with some uh, cheddar cheese and some Parmesan. A meal right on the grill, real easy. Beef back ribs. The full recipe, more tips and tricks at www.barbecuetricks.com. Search beef ribs.